In this webcast, I'm going to show you how to do a document in MLA format using Google Docs. So for Google Docs, you can actually insert a header and footer. If you go into Insert Header, a header will pop up. I need you to left align the header and make sure that it's in 12 point for, uh, font times New Roman. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert page number top of page, and then make sure that you also type your last name, put a space, and then leave the page number there. To get out of the header, you just click out of it. Now you need to make sure that the rest of your document is also in Times New Roman 12 point fonts. Over here, this is what will make sure that your spacing for your document is double spaced. So go in here and click 2.0. Once you do that, you're ready to start typing your heading. In your heading goes your first and last name. You press enter and then it should take you, it should skip a space and then go down to the next space. And then you should type your professor's name. So you do professor and their last name. So for me, you would do Professor Becerra. Then you'd press enter again and then you would type the name of the course. So for introduction to early college, you would type out the entire words, introduction to early college, and capitalize the important words. Now for my class, I require that you put the, the uh, period in which you're in my class. So I would put a colon, and then three if you're in third block, or four if you're in fourth block. Press enter again, and the very last thing you would add to your heading is the date that you're going to be submitting the document. Today's date is 11 December 2012, and I would type it that way. The day is 11 of December, and the year is 2012. You press enter just once, and then you send to your text in order to put your title. Remember, for your title, it should not be a question, and that it should not have, um, and that I should have every single important word capitalized. Press enter once again, and then left align your document to begin typing the rest of your document. Don't forget that you need to tab once for the very first sentence of that paragraph. Remember that your attention grabber goes first, then your background information, and then very finally the very last sentence of your introduction paragraph should be your thesis statement. Remember the thesis statement is written 100% by you and it should not be a quotation. It should state a point and then it should give three supporting details for that point. Now I'm going to show you how to set up a Works Cited page in a Google Doc. First, you want to insert page break. Go to insert, page break. And then you're going to center the very first line and you're going to put Works Cited. Press enter once and then left align your document. Now to do a reverse indent on Google Docs, there's going to be a little bar up here and then an arrow pointing down beneath it. Take the arrow that's pointing down and move it over to the half inch mark. Oops, if it'll let me move it over. Looks like my computer is going to freeze on me. All right, well, for some reason, this webcast is making my computer freeze up on me, but what you would do on your Google document is you would take that little arrow that's pointing down and move it to the half inch mark and then make sure that that little horizontal bar above it is back to where the gray meets the white. Once you do that, you have a paper that's set up in MLA format inside of a Google Doc. Now this heading kind of looks like it's really far up at the top of your paper, so to make it look better, I would actually do one, I would go click up where it was, and then I would click uh, enter so that it would go down one line. Remember that to get in and out of your header for your Google Doc, you just click on it or click outside of it. 